For the parents, it's nothing less than a miracle. And you'd think so too, if one day your disabled child stood up and walked for the very first time. Even more amazing though, is the wonder drug responsible. It's Botox, yes, Botox. That terribly fashionable cosmetic treatment favoured by the vain and the wrinkly rich. Now, it has a much more serious application, hailed as the most significant breakthrough in the treatment of cerebral palsy in 20 years. As you'll see, young children, once condemned to life in a wheelchair, now have a real chance, the chance to walk. Is this how princesses sit when they ride? I think so. For a little girl, seven-year-old Andy Puechka rides tall. How straight to that back. Remember, you're being a princess now. <laughs> On top of a horse, Andy has a freedom her little legs, until now, have never let her enjoy. It's because um, I am quite tight in the legs and I couldn't actually walk because this has happened. Well, when that happened, my mum and dad did not know where that what, what that was until I was two. <sighs> Andy was born seven weeks premature. And when, almost two years later, her parents Rhonda and Neville were told she had cerebral palsy, they were also told she'd probably spend her life in a wheelchair. Would she be able to walk? They pretty much said no. It's a lot to take in. I would Absolutely. It is. Absolutely. It's like a, a grieving period, really, um, to get to, well, to, you know, to, to come to terms with. To begin with, the doctors were right. Andy couldn't walk. She hobbled about with the aid of sticks or shuffled on her knees. But Andy is one of the first generation of Australian children to benefit from a revolutionary treatment. Tonight, a medical triumph. We've pretty much got a miracle on our hands. You'll watch as Andy goes from this to this. It's treatment day at Sydney's Westmead Children's Hospital. All these children are about to be injected with Botox. Yes, Botox. Who would have thought this toxin, so often associated with cosmetic vanity, would prove to be the biggest advance in the treatment of cerebral palsy in decades? Young children who now struggle to walk will get new life in their limbs. Take a step, take a step. We can see children walking better because they can walk with flat feet instead of up on their toes. We can see children that have had pain um, live without pain. Children that are scissoring as they walk, they can walk with their legs apart. And what about on this side? Wow! Dr Adam Scheinberg like is a paediatrician specialising in the treatment That's of cerebral like palsy. They're all nice and relaxed, aren't they? The problem, he explains, is not faulty oh, limbs, but young brains damaged in the womb or around the time of birth. This one up and down. The damage to the brain that occurs in cerebral palsy actually affects nerves that travel down the spinal cord and then travel out to talk to muscles. Those nerves send wrong messages which make the muscles contract. The unexpected beauty of Botox is the discovery that it blocks those signals, freeing up muscles and limbs. It may even permanently improve brain function. What it actually does, it's blocking the abnormal impulses and allowing the muscle to relax. Children are injected every three to six months, an average of ten injections at a time, mainly in their legs, hips and arms. For four-year-old Cody Hall, it's unpleasant. And for Tony, his mum, it's distressing. But it's working. Tony, how do you feel seeing little Cody get so teary? <laughs> Awful. It's just, yeah, I hate it, but it's, um, it's you know, at least it does him some good. Cody was born three months premature and weighed just over a kilo. When he was a week old, doctors diagnosed cerebral palsy. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy for this to happen. And, you know, and, and some days I th just think this is happening to us. You know, things like this don't happen to normal people like us. And, and I have to, and, and like the... the the reality is, we have a disabled son. Back on his family's farm, Cody is showing marked improvement. 
Well, three weeks into Botox injections, and instead of being on his tippy toes, he's walking pretty well flat footed. Will it last? It will. It'll last for about three weeks before it wears off a little. So a major achievement. Mm -hmm, very much. Have you always dreamt of being able to ride a horse? Well, actually, yes, because I am quite a, a horsey girl, and my friends are too. That's why I go for the saddle club. And like, whenever I see a horse, I'm like, yay, yay, yay. So hold your hands up. Andy had her first Botox injections when she was three. So again, I look straight ahead. And we're the first do. slot she had was um, absolutely remarkable. Um, I remember putting, well, we both put Andy in the bath and she was able to let both knees drop to the side, which she'd never, ever, ever been able to do. So we were absolutely elated about it and it was just, it was fantastic. These children with uh, cerebral palsy, particularly when it was affecting their legs, would get surgery almost every year on their birthday. And each time you do the surgery, the muscle becomes quite weak. If you do it multiple times, the muscle can become so weak that it actually becomes impossible for the child to walk. Botox has changed that. During the kids' growing years, it keeps their muscles functioning until their bodies are developed enough to be operated on. That means less surgery and more chance of surgical success. 18 months ago, it was Andy's turn. But the big test was, would, could she walk? Last April, six months after the operation, Andy set her mind to doing what her body had made impossible. At home in her bedroom, she started practicing. Well, one simple night, I just got my jewellery box and put it in a certain place and told myself to walk to that and then walk back. Bottom in. She basically stood against her bed and then proceeded to walk to her music box in the, in the middle of the room, which was, which was just amazing. At six years of age, Andy took her first steps. <laughs> then, my father for some reason got a deer in his eye. Oh, that oh, well is fantastic. Well, I did have a tear in my eye. I mean, she did walk. I know she gave me up, but yeah, I did. It was fabulous. So, I don't know what, what counts as a miracle these days, but in my book, that's there. Ready, set, go. The next day, the improvement was even more dramatic. <laughs> and now, just look at her. It makes me feel more released and happy that I could do this. And now that I could also dance and do all the things that other people do, I just think it made a big difference. Did you feel more like your friends? Yes, I, I totally do. But last year, all year, I got teased and being mean to, and I do have a feeling it's because that I walk differently. It's because last year, this year two boy mm. came and sat down and said, hello, robot legs. And what did you say to him? Well, I just really, one thing I do know, it, it really did hurt me. Mm. Is it hard to walk long distances? Is this, a, is this a struggle for you? Sometimes. To understand how harsh living with cerebral palsy can be, you need to go to a bloke who spent a lifetime pretending he hasn't got it. But I chose to run from it instead of confronting it. You know, I instead of learning about it, I just went, oh yeah, she'll be right. Come on, get over it! Comedian Steady Eddie grew up treating his condition as a joke and turned it into a career. Um, the other night I actually won the dance competition. Funny thing was, I wasn't even entered. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. It's quite easy to make a joke and, and brush it off, you know. 
as a defense mechanism, you know, because once you make a joke, it bounces off you and you don't have to confront it. So after 36 years, you've accepted that you have cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a part of me, you know. I think I, I had to accept that it was a part of me. It's not all of me, but it is a part of me. Only now is Eddie coming to terms with the way his disability has affected him. I had a battle with the booze in the He's well aware that if Botox was available when he was a child, it might have given more movement to his limbs and made his battle easier. Well, I did pull the camera and stop. Has society's attitude changed at all since you were a young bloke with cerebral palsy? Sometimes I think yes and sometimes I think no. Before we started filming about getting here to the interview, you know, like three, three or four cab drivers just did not stop for me, you know, because they thought I was drunk or something, you know. Um, and I still get that now and then. Cody Hall is cheerfully unaware of what he may confront as he grows up. But Botox treatment will make his life easier. Already his limbs are freer, his muscles more responsive. What have you seen in Cody since he's had the Botox? Oh, big difference. Yeah, what big difference. Like you see him when he's riding the horse, like when he used to ride the horse before, his little legs were like a jockey, they were tucked up underneath him. Now he's, he's stretching out and he's, he's standing up on his legs in the stirrups, which is, which is good. He's just, yeah. This looks normal, like another normal kid, like especially when you go to the pony club, he's just one of the kids now, so it's good. Hey Cody, what's the dog's name? Chloe. Chloe. It's my doggy. It's your doggy. How do you see his future? And uh, probably not Prime Minister, but he won't be far off it. <laughs> he's got the intelligence to go that far. He's, he's pretty switched on. Medical science is offering hope to a generation of children. Instead of spending their life in a wheelchair, they're being given a wonderful gift. In Andy's house, her wheelchair now rusts away. What are your dreams and your hopes? For me to be a ballerina. So do you think you could even improve more? I really do think that, yes. And Cody, well, it's still some years until he'll have the surgery that could put him on his feet. But Mum and Dad have a quiet confidence the little fellow will do it. He's getting to the age now where he's telling us that he's going to walk soon. Do you really think he will walk? I think so. Hmm. I really do believe that he will walk. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.